forest. Holy sh There are three words that put the fear of death into the very bravest of souls. Three words to make your blood run cold. Hungry. Hungry. Hippos. While they may look adorable, hippos are not sweet, gentle creatures. They are the deadliest animal on the Nile River, with their human body count topping that of lions. It's estimated that they kill 500 people per year in Africa. Having said that, I've got good news and bad news for you. The bad news is, you've just wandered into the hippo's home, and it is very, very angry. The good news is, we're here to help. Today, we're going to learn how to survive a hippo attack. Hippos are the third largest land mammal in the world, after elephants and white rhinos. A female hippo can weigh approximately 1,400 kilograms, with males weighing up to 4,500 kilograms. But don't let their hefty size fool you. Hippos are surprisingly adept and can run up to 48 kilometers per hour. That's as fast as horses, and one has you and your boat in its sights. Could you outthink the vicious hippo? Do you have any chance of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one? Or are you just another addition to its body count? Step one, introduce yourself carefully. Okay, this is a tough one. Hippos are vegetarians and don't eat humans, but that doesn't mean it won't rip you apart. Hippos are very easily startled. And if you surprise one, well, it was nice knowing you. What you want to do is, while standing far enough away, make loud noises to let it know you're there. Hopefully this will cause them to go away. If not, step two, observe. Watch carefully. These next few seconds may be the difference between life and death. Oh, Mrs. Hippo is yawning. Oh, she's so sleepy. Wrong! Yawning is an early warning sign that you're getting too close for comfort. If you're nearby in the same waterway, turn around and leave as fast as you can. Hippos are extremely territorial, so make sure you put as much distance between you and the hippo as you can by going in the other direction. Okay, good. Now, just back out very slowly and... Oh no, you've been spotted! Step three, run. Hippos can easily outrun your tiny human legs, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't give it a shot. Beats staying here, right? You need to avoid moving in a straight line and find obstacles to help slow the hippo down. Use things like rocks and termite mounds. The best move you can make is to climb into a tree or up onto a hill where it won't be able to reach you. So hopefully you've made it to higher ground, but if not, Brace yourself. Step four, fight dirty. Hippos have a bite force of over 13,000 kPa and can open their mouths 180 degrees. That's enough to bite an adult crocodile in half. If you are unfortunate enough to be in the horrifying grips of a hippo, try to punch or kick its snout or go for their eyes. If your arms are already in the hippo's throat, try to reach for the back of their throat and grab anything in its mouth. You want to make the animal as uncomfortable as possible. It's not time to play nice. You have to fight dirty. If you put up enough of a fuss, hopefully the hippo will be too uncomfortable to deal with you. Next, get the heck out of there. Hopefully you'll never find yourself in this dire situation. Hippos are considered to be the most dangerous animal in Africa, and their attacks leave very few survivors. Thankfully for you, it's pretty hard to stumble on them by accident, unlike deadly snakes or spiders, which you can easily walk into. You are in no danger of suddenly coming upon a hippo. That is, unless you're watching this video on a dense, grassy plain. While we've gone into several steps to protect yourself, 
The best way to survive a hippo attack is to stay away. Phew, I think you lost them. Better keep moving, and... Uh-oh, your leg is stuck. In your panic, you've run straight into quicksand. This isn't your day, is it? Well, the good news is, we're here to help you survive whatever life throws at you. Don't forget to follow us if you like this episode. If you are in danger or think you have an emergency, call your doctor, an ambulance, or the police immediately.